All right. So there was another song someone asked, prayer asked Prince. Uh, Prince by Cream. Is it Cream or Prince? Good night, Greg. Thanks so much hang for hanging out. Prince, Cream, Acoustic. Oh, this is Prince. Okay, I want to do this, but I'm pretty scared that I will get um, demonetized if I do it. But it is what it is. Like, I will get de demonetized no matter what, but sometimes uh, certain artists block your shit right away, so I have to pause it quite often. Otherwise, we'll get in trouble. It is what it is, though. Yeah, help me out. This is it. Time for you to go to the white yard. This is it. And does he go straight to a four chord? You will hit us because you got the burning desire. It's your time. Oh, what? This. I've never heard him. Um... You know what's crazy? I probably did hear him sing this live. I saw Prince live once and I've never... You followed too many people? Yes, Robbie. Let's go. I believe in you. You've got this. Uh, 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 uh. I, it makes me so sad. The day that like, I got to watch him play live and I didn't, I didn't respect it. I truly did not respect it. <laughs> mm. You will hit Cause you got the burn Cause I yeah. It's your time got What a beast What a beast The horns of why don't you blow it It's your time your feet. Uh. It's your time. Uh. You're feeling cute, and baby, you know it. Oh. Cream. Get on top. Cream. You will cut. Cream. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking play the shit out of this song. Don't you stop, cream, shovel, get back. You're so good, baby, think nobody better. Ain't nobody better. Yeah, so you should. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so good. I'm done. I'm done. But what I want to hear, I, I missed his turnaround. You know I wrote this in, while I was looking in the mirror, right? How much swag does this guy have? Oh my fucking God. This is like straight up goals. When you look at a performer like this, I'm sorry, I'm learning way more about his performance technique rather than his actual song. The song itself is super simple. It's just a one four in the key of a B flat. And you can just vibe on that. But it's very, very cool. But his performance, like his ability to just like step away from the song, come back in and engage, the, like to, to give enough space in the song. That's when you like looking at this, because you can overplay the shit out of this, right? This is what a most guitarists would do. They come in and they're like, Ooh. 
Like most guitarists would approach it that way. But obviously he's a songwriter and a singer and a performer. And he's just like just enough to show off his guitar playing. Like just enough to be very sneaky and fill space. But he makes so much room for the crowd to just like jump in. To the fact that he literally pulls off and stops playing. Like it's so good. And these little things to have this level of confidence when you perform is so huge and so underrated. Um, I remember when I first started trying to like be more engaging with the crowd. It's a straight up skill because I sucked at it and I had to practice it all the time, all the time, all the time. But he is just so good. And, and like we would do it on like songs like Taylor Swift songs like, you know, whenever there's like a key, key lyric, or like one word, you would just like drop all the music and then put the, the crowd knows to sing. You literally give them the whole to sing. Um, you know, like what's the song? Anyway, you, you just basically exactly what he did with time. Um, he'd do that. But the fact that he has this level of confidence to be like, ah, not good enough, guys. You need to do better um, to encourage the crowd is so, so huge. And then he literally just stops playing by, by making a fun little joke about, like the song was about him looking in the mirror. <laughs> I'm serious. You're so good. Damn it, ain't nobody better. And now they're in. They are so hooked in. They, like his fucking claws are in. Ah. Oh. Genius. So you should hey, never ever go by the letter. My bass player is going to be so happy that I listen to this because he's been begging me to learn Prince music, uh, like songs of Prince for so, so long. As soon as I, I'm going to learn this secretly and not tell him, and then um, and he's going to be like, oh, yes. He'll be like, you We'll do it on a stream one time. I'll just start playing it. And he'll be like, oh. we'll watch his reaction. We'll get it on, get on video. But no one tell him. It's so cool. Uh, everything you do is. And he'll sing all the high parts too. He'll do all the cool. As soon as we start doing it, he'll be like, yes. Success. Break the rules. Break them all. Because you are the best. Yeah. Yeah. Cream, get on top. Cream. So the cream, the cream, get on top. Cream, get on top. Cream, get on. Top. That's when he gets to the fire. Hey, cream. That's very, very cool. Get on top. Get on top. Get on top. All right. I'm going to have to sit down and actually like listen to the music of like listen to his vocal performance of this, but it is, this is so fucking cool. Time like, it's so cool. Oh my God. Can, I, I don't need to learn those ones. Or is it? Now, Dylan, you actually might have to learn this one. This one seems like a really, really cool one that anyone could play.
So it's just a one four. So he's doing an, uh, he's got he's tuned his guitar down to E flat, so that's why it looks a bit different to where I'm playing it. So he's it looks like he's playing an A, um, but it's actually B flat to an E flat, so one four in the key of B flat. And you can fill by using the blues, like the B flat blues. And then he's um, and then you like say you get to that four chord there on E flat. You can do like a My Girl groove, um, like the major pentatonic run. So you're just moving up the, the A string going 6, 8, 10, and then 8, 10 on the D string. That's what I'm doing there. And then... Um, when he gets to the chorus of Cream, he's just doing a one, five. So he's doing the, the F. Cream. I don't know how many times he does Cream though. Hold on a sec. Okay, cool. So it's a it's a four round sequence. So he's going cream one two uh, five back to the cream one cream. So this is just a B flat to the F. And now this is where he does the last one is the turnaround, which is going to be a six minor flat seven seven to a one. So which is in this in this key, he's going to do a G minor A flat. And then back to a B flat. So that's what the whole song is. It's just a one, four. So that's just B flat to E flat. And then he's doing the choruses. One to the F chord on the five and done. Six. Thanks for following. Welcome. Yeah, I'm I'm keen. I'm keen on this. This is a fucking vibe. I love this. Oh man, so much. The coolest thing about this is I sit down and think I'm like, one day when we I feel like I've kind of made it now. I'm like, I'm like, I'm literally live streaming five times a week. I'm like, this is making it for me. Like <laughs> the day that I'm like financially secured and taking care of everyone. Um, I'm going to be like so happy. It'll be like, all right, cool. I never have to worry about the finance element of it. And I just play music. And that will be like, that will be a crazy day. And then I'm like sitting here, I'm like, there's so much music to learn. So much music for me to play. Oh, it's going to be fucking fun. Fucking yes. So keen. So keen. Pain. Get on. of the month that's a fucking cool idea let's start in july let's do july artist of the month you guys get to pick we'll put a we'll put a poll up dylan can make the poll and dylan can 
can make the poll of like what what uh, artist is Luan going to focus on learning? <laughs> Looks like John Mayer, yeah. And we'll make a poll and we'll see what everyone thinks. That's fucking cool, man. Ah, oh, prayer. Thank you for that one. I was not expect. I was like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm. I will give you my two cents. I always really was like. Cream. I always was like Prince is overrated. Not because like Prince was like overrated as music. I think for me, I was like, ah, oh. I watched him play live. He was a bit late. And then the fact that all of his music wasn't available to everyone, he would always hide it. He would be like, no, you have to buy my record. You can't stream it. I was like, why are you making it so much harder for me to get into your music? But his actual writing, I just like, you just can't fault this guy. This guy's a fucking beast. Oh, so good. It's such a shame. But yeah, let's be real. My ignorance has, has held me back on listening to some great music. Uh, but no longer. Look at and look at literally the first recommendation of songs. Sometimes it snows in April. Ooh. So I feel like this Webster Hall place, this is a I need to listen to this whole thing. So I'm gonna have to check it out and listen to this whole album. It, it feels like this is going to be like my live in LA John Mayer album. Because I saw Prince play live and I wasn't I was like, oh whatever. But then again, I would say I was a lot younger. I would have been like 19 when I saw him play. And I was definitely ignorant to all that shit. Can I listen to Dave Matthews? I, my drummer loves Dave Matthews. But I don't feel like playing Dave Matthews. I want to play some songs now. I want to sing some songs. Two-step. Is Two-step by Dave Matthews? <laughs> 